Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and we are doing day 23 of our 30 day heroes journey through yoga. So today's class is called plot twist and in movies there is always right before the completion when you're up and running and everything is going well and you're about to win the battle or to uh, grab the treasure or just towards the end right when everything is going so well there is always a big major setback and a 180 things just change completely it's a 180 uh, change and now there is doubt are we going to be able to pull this off maybe this is the end like the end of the hero maybe uh, the hero might be coming to the end of his path and that is what we're going to contemplate today and how do we deal with setbacks with challenges especially when the the, the end is it's in sight we can see the ending and things just stack against us and because the class is called plot twist i'm gonna do today one of my favorite uh, types of uh, uh, yoga some of you really love that it is um, coffee cup but a twisty coffee cup so we're gonna do a twisty strong coffee cup the only this one will be geared more towards all levels if you look at my other ones that are on the channel they're more a little bit intermediate level so this is gonna be more inclusive and always feel free I've mentioned this before but feel free to modify feel free to hit the slower um, setting on the, the lower bottom of the YouTube icon you can control the speed of the class so you can slow it down if you're a complete beginner so you can flow a little slower at uh, 0 0.75 uh, times the speed oh also you can just do 50% of the class. I'm good with that. 50% of the class in the rest, maybe do bridge. Bridge is so therapeutic and stimulates the metabolism, the thyroid, etc. So you're not going to be wasting your time sitting and waiting. But just feel free to modify, to rest a day if you have to and jump back in. And are you ready to flow with strength and ease? We're going to begin at the front of the mat. Inhale the hands, forming a big circle over the head. Exhale, drawing down through the midline of the body. Inhale, reaching. Exhale. Inhale. Really expanding the rib cage. Exhale. As you exhale, Mula Bandha in, pull the belly in, really activating the core. Inhale and exhale. And here we're going to draw a circle with the left leg standing on the right. You can just move your hands in a circular fashion so that we're bringing some circulation and warming up the joints. So reach back and reach back, being a little bit of a ballerina here warming up the joints good feel the movement great from here you will take the left leg back step it back and across and reach step it back and across and reach step it back and across and reach nothing big nothing major this is a warm-up it is not the <laughs> the session the core of the session yet opposite side just moving easy great here we're going to reach back reach back reach back and strive up here reach back strive up great now you can swing the arms Give them a little swing so there you're not controlling the arms there is a little bit of momentum happening here toes to toes
Don't control your arms, just let them swing. So that you know that you're loose, you're loosening the muscles. All right, let's reach side to side, reaching side to side. You can do a leg lift here, just so that we're engaging the hips. Great, good. Back to the front. And here we're going to do a little hop side to side. Now we're introducing the twist. If you're not into hopping, just feel free to do a quick step. I'm doing a very small hop. If your joints are good with that, then it, it's actually strengthening to the joints. Keep the knees bent. A little bit of hopping helps with the release of hormones, human growth hormone, etc. And it is um, good for the lymphatic system, lymph lymphatic drainage. It's strengthening to the bones and joints. Great, all right. Now we're gonna continue with the traditional vinyasa warm up. Bend the knees, inhale, reach over the head, chair. Look back, down, and make sure that you can see your toes. Push the booty back. And does your belly feel strong here? Let me know in the comments below. We're on the day 23. We've done our fair share of chairs. You can say, yay, chair, <laughs> remember. And I can tell you that I have not done a lot of chairs in the past few years or a year. And just through this series, plus the Sunday classes that I share, I can feel such strength, strength in my core during chair because of just practicing and doing it. Exhale, folding. Now here you can keep your knees bent, adjust it to your liking, shake your head, softening the face muscles, the eyelids, the gaze, introducing the yogic smile here, corners of the lips are smiling. Great, hands on the shin bones, inhale, look ahead of you, step it back to plank and either chaturanga or down onto the belly to cobra and up dog. And exhale, down dog. Exhaling completely here. Keep the back wide, tucking the shoulder blades into the back here. So the action here is inner elbows facing each other. So a little bit of a rotation. If you're hyperextended and you can extend the elbows the way I'm right now, all the way forward, you hold back a little. Have them facing each other and that creates space around the ears. Pull the belly in. Here you can do a little stomach vacuum. Udiana Banda, it is the second lock. Cultivation of energy. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Keep the left hand on the floor, circle the right arm up and down and lower down. Move back to plank, lower down chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Take the left leg up, step it through, circle the arm. And lower down, plank. Now without moving back into the vinyasa, we're gonna take the right foot between the hands, circle up, see? This is already twisting. <laughs> left side, circle. Use proper alignment, spread the fingers wide open. Circle. Circle. Circle, 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 
circle 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 good and now just lower down chaturanga you can have your knees on the floor shifting the shoulders forward up dog or cobra shall we do a second chaturanga let's do that we strengthened in the beginning and maybe it's the strength now he's sitting great exhale down dog left hand in the center right hand to the left ankle look under your shoulder that's a mini twist opposite side back to center inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge strong legs straight back open the arms out twist to the right drop the left hand onto the knee and the other one down the leg look over the shoulder let's take the left arm up reach in here exhale left hand on the floor and here either hold a side plank if you can stepping the right foot in front of you or if you want to join me for this more advanced variation do so if it's really difficult then leave it for another time in the future come back to this class many more times and it will come to you at some point spread the fingers open wrist underneath the shoulder very important a lot of people make the mistake to hold side plank something like this where the hand is way ahead of us that puts pressure on the shoulder stack your joints on top of each other always for all postures that is a good rule stacking the joints now also the hips are stacking on top of each other that engages the core and the obliques so are you ready for the advanced variation give me anywhere from one rep to seven reps knee to elbow one two three four five six seven whether you did it or not good job chaturanga maybe knees on the ground up dog shall we do a second chaturanga maybe exhale down dog Ha! Ah, are you ready for the left side excited inhale left leg up step it through high lunge open the arms out twist so here you're extending the tailbone down and you're really feeling this twist into the quadriceps all right drop the hands onto the legs and look over your left shoulder now you can reach up with the right hand and that really drives the stretch deep into the hip flexor so us really reaching up through the fingertips exhale down and roll into the outer edge of the right foot either hold here stacking the shoulders above the wrists or join me for the next variation one two three four five six seven Woohoo! <laughs> and plank to chaturanga or to the belly cobra or up dog and exhale down dog drawing the belly in inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge hands in prayer reach and lengthen through the crown of the head the spine is lengthening and see if you can bring your left elbow on the outside 
of the right knee. If this is really intense, really twisty, then stay with the previous variation. Give it a go, see if you can do it and assess where you want to be here in this twist. So now we're going to hold the twist for three deep breaths. Exhale, soften the belly. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, soften. Inhale. Very good. So power up the right leg and step the left leg to the front, chair pose with a twist. Look down, shift onto the right side again, stepping onto the right leg, step it back. Did you do it gracefully? <laughs> all right, coming out of this, now we're gonna step all the way onto the right leg at the front of the mat, and we're gonna wrap the left leg around. Staying here, cow face, and find your balance, find your drishti, and I'm tempted not to give you this next pose, but I will. <laughs> so don't get frustrated, it's a plot twist. So sometimes things seem impossible and it's the end of the journey, but really if we get through it and the mind is clear, then we'll actually be able to get to, the, to our goal. So right hand under, left arm above, twist, wrapping the arms around each other and reach up, softening the shoulders. Exhale, release. Hands in prayer and we're gonna twist. So I call this pose because in as far as I know, I came up with it. It's an AK twist. And you're gonna bring the left elbow on the right side, twist. And if you fall, laugh about it. Don't get all crazy about perfection because it's just yoga. It's really not that important. It's important to stay happy and healthy. All right, step it back. High lunge, exhale down, good job. Plank, strong belly, chaturanga, up dog, extending the tailbone down, or cobra again. Same, extending the tailbone down, and down dog. Are you all nice and circulation happening on the right side. Let's take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge. Hands in prayer and according to how you did on the other side, just repeat the same variation on this side, either lengthening through the crown of the head and elbow to knee or you can take a twisty variation here. As long as you feel the twist, that's all that matters. Sometimes, depending on the back, on the belly, the obliques, the strength of the legs, the hips, there is limitations, that's okay. We are not doing yoga so that we can become more flexible or stronger per se, those are side effects. We're doing it so that we can learn to breathe and to bring the mind here in the present moment and to cultivate gratitude. All right, look down, step it to the front and a twisting chair pose. Make sure that your knees are square so they're at the same level here. Great, step it back. And you can come out, step all the way to the front. Let's wrap the right leg around the left. <clears throat> now, even though I can wrap, I, my legs are long, I can wrap it all the way. If you're somewhere here, that's okay as well. And sit back. Here we're gonna reach with the hand forward, right under, wrap them. So glide the right arm under and reach up. Softening the back of the shoulders. 
bring the elbows up and that will soften them. Stretch them, open them. Very good. You can shake out. And hands in prayer, bring the elbow over to your left. Take it as far as you can. Great. Sometimes when we don't have great alignment or a great balance is because we didn't sleep enough. The mind is a little fluttery. All right. Coming out of this, step it back. And lower down. Knees on the ground, coming to all fours. And again, starting the joints on top of each other. Just try to always pay attention to your own alignment in life, in yoga, feeling the body. All right, a resting twist here. We're gonna take the left arm under the right shoulder, palm of the hand facing up, lower down and bring the back of the shoulder on the floor as much as you can. Look up here, you can walk the right hand towards the front and feel this twist all along the back. This pose and this class in general is great for any uh, shoulder and back issues because we're going to twist on both sides for scoliosis, for shoulder pain, back pain. Okay, unravel, unwrap. Opposite side, so reach as far as you can with the right hand, palm of the hand facing up. Great, and glide the shoulders down, the shoulder down and look up. With the top hand, you can walk it forward or keep it there. All right, coming out of this plank. Pull the belly in, press the heels away from you. Press back into down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Drop the back heel down, warrior one, bending the right knee, reaching up. Let's straighten the lead knee, open the arms out, twist to the right, drop the right hand down the back leg and reach here. Bend the knee again. Warrior one, reaching over the head. Coming out of this, right hand to the right hip, reach way ahead of you. You can close in the stance here, the space between the feet. Reach way ahead of you. We're going for a revolving triangle. Lower the hand onto the shin bone or onto the floor and bring it over, right up, right hand up. The hands are reaching away from each other and here a good reminder is to feel your right hip and push it back. It tends to shift forward and takes, it takes the tailbone out of alignment. Press it back. If you bring your hand onto the tailbone, it is in alignment with the spine. It's along the same line. Shoulders away from the ears, lengthen through the crown of the head. This is a detoxing sequence. We're detoxing the internal organs, the digestion benefits here. Great. Lower the hands over the shin bone, straighten the leg and 
lower down here and straight back coming up bend the right knee and we're gonna step the left foot to the front and hands in prayer step it back try to stay here in chair keep this right knee bent step it back step to the front back step to the front three four five now a little bit of a twist twist release step twist release step back now twist step twist and all the way back so you should feel a nice burn through the leg exhale down plank you can bring your right hip up left hip up a few twisty planks pull the belly in good lower down onto the belly inhale lengthen exhale down dog inhale the left leg up step it through warrior one alignment drop the back heel towards the floor and spread the toes open now my heel does touch the floor but that is not a, a mandatory thing obviously your heel might not be on the floor and that's okay you might have to step your feet a little wider apart here or you may have to modify this pose but that's okay so bending the left knee come up warrior one you can straighten the legs open the arms out to twisting to your left drop the left arm down the right leg reaching here and you can bend the knee again and coming out of it left hand onto the left hip reach way ahead of you try to level the hips square the hips so they're at the same level by squaring the hips i'll show you uh, how the hips would look if they're not square the right hip would be pushing back and the left forward and you'll be here so when you square them your the pelvis is aligning and you don't have to be 100 percent square there is no such things but that's the intention lower down revolving triangle straight back coming up bending the left knee and we're gonna step it to the front let's go a few more keep the knee bent two three four five and now twist come out step twist step back twist step to the front twist step back and good job release and bring it back cobra onto the belly reach up exhale down dog
breath. Step to the front chair, hands in prayer, twist to one side, lengthen through the crown of the head, center, opposite side, back to center. Open the arms out, shift your weight onto the right leg. Step the left leg back and across and bring your hands to the right. So facing to the right and back in chair. Cross, back, lunge. Try to keep your left, uh, your right knee behind the ankle, lower down, twist a little back to the front. One more. Make it like a dance. It's a power move, but give it a dancey. <laughs> Feel opposite side, taking the right leg back and all the way to the left. Back here, just be, be fluid, do as much as you can. Chair and lower down. We're gonna open the toes out, hands in prayer, yogic squat. Squatting down here again, the heels can be off the floor if that's your, how your anatomy is working at the moment. There is no perfect alignment. No one ever has perfect alignment, so forget about that. Remember to enjoy your practice and to enjoy the, even the setbacks in the practice because Things always change, things always evolve, and we should enjoy the moment, even when we're going through the setbacks, the plot twists. All right, from here, we're going to find a way to sit on the floor, open the legs out, twist. <laughs> That's the keyword of the class, <laughs> for the class. Twist over to the right leg, flex the feet, pull the toes back in, lower down. Now, when you're lowering over the right leg, think about your left leg the entire time and push the toes back in towards you and press the leg actively in the floor. That will help you with flexibility, this particular mindfulness, activating the muscles on the left side as we stretch the right. Beautiful, opposite side. Now activating the right leg and gently lower over the left. Great, let's bring the right knee down on the floor, left foot by the right knee, right arm reaches up and twist here. Take it at your level, we already covered this pose in the previous class. But you can always just hold the knee, glide the forearm onto the thigh. And if you're very twisty, okay, so that would be your last variation of the pose, clasping under. Either way, again, we're not here to achieve some great performance or to satisfy some OCD desire for perfection but just let go allow yourself to enjoy the class to enjoy yoga to enjoy the capacity of your body to move it is a blessing and plot twists when things seem like everything is going to um, bleep <laughs> like everything is going to bleep I don't know to, uh, to not work out. That's what makes life sweet. Those are the things that actually make life sweet. In a movie when you see the hero almost 
facing death or failure right before completion and then when completion actually comes this makes it that much sweeter all right unwrap and here you're gonna bring your hands over to the right come on to your toes stay on your toes and just walk your hands around twisting on the toes and you end up on the other side if not just have the right knee up left knee on the ground and twist over to the other side you can lengthen look over your right shoulder lengthen through the crown twist soften with the breath inhale lift and lengthen open the chest exhale go a little deeper inhale lift and lengthen exhale go a little deeper inhale lift and lengthen exhale go a little deeper and release and bring your feet on the ground round the back and slowly lower down onto your back and here we're going to roll onto the left side lift your legs and bring your knees to your elbows this is to build the obliques a side crunch so try to modify it to your liking you can keep your legs straight and touch the toes you can have your elbow to knee but really drive the movement through the obliques through the core not from the hip flexors so much as really activating the core that will give you strong a strong trim waistline and this strong belly when you touch it you can feel the <laughs> later on you can feel the muscles <laughs> support for the back three four five six seven eight nine ten i will turn my back on you just for 10 reps opposite side one keep your elbow elongated or your elbow back three four five six seven eight nine ten good job all right let's bring the right knee in and across from the body keep your right shoulder on the ground as you bring your knee over to the left soften here this is the ultimate twist this whole class is actually i mentioned the waistline this whole class is can trim a little bit the waistline which we all can benefit from because if we hold our fat throughout the body distribute it less onto the belly it's a little better for our health and yoga helps with that I'm um, certain of that because I've tested it for myself great opposite side Exhaling, softening. And that's not to say that we can we don't want fat around the belly, it's just to kind of distribute it a little better based on our body structure, so a little better for our body. Especially getting older and having to take care of the body more and more, more carefully. So 
soften as you exhale. Embracing the pose, embracing the body, even if not everything in our body is uh, functioning well or even if our practice is not exactly how we want it to be, that's fine, just embracing things. And coming out of it, and since we're working on all this here digestion and internal organs and even belly fat that's again not to say that we we don't we want no belly fat it's just a little less we're going to come up <laughs> and do one more so keep your heels on the ground and bring your hands either behind you or on the side and lower down here and opposite side so that again is a complete twist we can do it one more time on each side you can hold it for 30 seconds or 20 seconds feel it it's a good adjustment for the back invigorating as well excellent and from here we're gonna again lower down onto the back soles of the feet together hands onto the belly lay here for a moment good job i pushed you today so i hope i hope this was invigorating for you lay here for a moment just sinking into the moment Becoming completely aware of the moment. Empty, yet completely awake, completely aware of the moment. Present, feeling the texture of the moment. Allowing yourself to float, light, the mind is floating, it's empty, yet active, yet awake, yet aware. Let's bring the hands over the heart for a moment. Extend the legs one at a time. You can release the hands by the side. Stay here for a few more breaths. Letting everything go around you and just being here and present and empty.
And take a nice deep breath. Inhale your hands over the head, point your toes and stretch. Give it a good stretch here. Toes pointing, arms reaching over the head, clasping. You can walk your feet over to the right and hands over to the right, form, forming a crescent here. Opposite side. Back to center, bend the knees, roll onto your side, embryo in the womb pose. Great, and press yourself up to sit it. Inhale your hands over the head, over the third eye, after always seeing the truth, over the lips, for always speaking the truth over the throat for self-expression that is coming from our truest deepest self and over the heart let's bow to our hearts for their compassion generosity and love namaste thank you all for joining me today i'm very grateful for having this experience teaching and also experiencing it as a student as a beginner in this whole series so grateful to be here and to be sharing this collectively we're all sharing it together so let me know how this class was for you i took it a little a notch up today so hopefully it wasn't too hard for you and if it was just come back to it in the future practice it again Twists are very therapeutic. They're very good for the digestion. They're very, very good for the tummy and for the mind always, of course. And this class was a little stronger. So let me know how this was for you. Remember to flow with strength and ease and I will see you tomorrow with another class. Mm -hmm.